In this tutorial, we will answer the questions in the paper displayed on your screen using the DTP software Microsoft Publisher. To get the soft copy, please find the attached link from the description. Hit the like button and let's proceed. To create a publication, right click on the desktop and select new followed by MS Publisher. Rename the file and press enter to save. Press enter or return key to open the file. First things first, paper size be A4 and it's already A4 and orientation should be portrait as set and it should only be one page as you can see here so all of them are correct by default. Margins 0.5 by default. To create column guides, go to guides and then select grid and baseline guides. From the pop-up, can you select the number of columns and then required spacing, then you click OK, spacing 0.3 inches and then OK and our page will be divided into two columns. Let's work on left hand side column. We need a right angle triangle from the shapes. I'm using our pasteboard to design the triangle, then transform it by a vertical flip and then drag it to the printable area. Apply some black shading and resize it to fit. And by the way, apart from flipping, which other methods can we use to transform an object? Comment section. Now, adding a logo. As per instruction, the text size PK in the logo should be 28 and centered. Let's apply it. And by the way, I prefer working on the paste board and then transfer my finished work to the printable area. What's the difference between the two? That is paste board and printable area. Let me know by the comment section. To make the image visible, let's apply some white shading on it different from the rectangle, the triangle, exactly like this. As per instructions, the text and beatable transport services should be size 20, centered and bold. Let's apply this in the text box. Finally, we do center align and then some resizing. But by the way, which methods can we make these objects, that is the triangle, the logo, and the text box fit in their designated space? Let me know what's in your mind via the comment section. What follows is a description text box and the text in it should be font size 12 times New Roman. Simple, just type in. One good thing with a publisher is that you can place text independently anywhere using a text box. Like you can't compare, can have a separate text box. As you can see here, a complex table follows but this should not puzzle you, you only need to identify the maximum number of rows and columns and insert such table from the grid that is a table made up of 4 columns and 6 rows. The cells are invisible therefore select all, choose border color or line color to be black or in color of your choice and then choose border, all borders and you are set. So the first row seems to be a margin of four columns with a standard title and therefore that's what we're going to do with merge and then after that you type the title and center align it. For the rest of the rows type the text in the, in the box. Worry not of the vertical aligned text, merged columns it is easy, we will take care of that later for now, just a plain text. Now merge the first column as from the second row and from the text format select vertical alignment and then center align the text. Do the same for the last column and then resize the column width to make the table presentable. So after this, drag a table to the printable area 
after this we have another text box whose font size is number 22 and center aligned so to modify you can just type 22 or even select it and then you type drag the text box to the working area and fill it with a gray color so after that now we can select the text and center align it and uh, by the way what's the keyboard shortcut for center alignment the border style of the text box is dashed we apply it finally we will insert another text box at the bottom to contain information about PK company location and center align the text. Second column contains passenger ticket which is inside a rounded rectangle so draw it to fit the designated area. To design the vertical ticket will be challenging and therefore we'll design it horizontally within the first board and later we rotate it to fit the second column. According to instruction, passenger ticket shading is ascent 4, so that's what I'm applying here and then in add text which is passenger ticket and center align the text and bold it. Now. Let us add another text box to type the name and the transport details. After that, set the box to be two columns and then now we can start typing the name uh, and other transport details. Now alter the spacing to 2.0 and then let's go to the next, just press enter to the next column and keep on typing the first few words or lines are in the right alignment that is the PO box the phone number and the address now for the amount and departure time should be left aligned a small rounded rectangle will be okay for input just duplicate it for the amount and the departure time We can make use of a word art for Malindi Mombasa Ukunda with a black shading. Resize the word art to fit inside the bottom part of the rounded rectangle. We need a line between to separate the two columns. I can't see it within my DTP software, but in MS Word it is available. Therefore, I'll use normal line from the shapes to do so. Otherwise, I will appreciate a load if you can show me where to get it through the comment section. It's time to relocate our passenger ticket to the printable area. To make it possible and easier, we need to group all the items in the ticket such that they are all identified as one. To do so, press Ctrl key as you select one item at a time using your mouse and then select group from format menu. From that point, you can drag and drop our object to the printable area. After rotating, you're done. You can choose to modify the page color or leave it as it is. Otherwise, I do appreciate your support in watching this video. Much more, I'll appreciate your likes, comments, and even sharing this video to your friends. In case your first time visit, please subscribe for free and be the first to be notified each time I upload a video. Happy designing!